Hello, welcome back to a new session of Cooking with Grace. Today we will make an authentic spicy red fish curry. This is also known as Kotem style fish curry and it looks very colorful and taste is awesome. This goes well with smashed tapioca or boiled rice. So let's begin with preparation. Before start cooking, we need to make a paste with 2.5 tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder, 1.5 tablespoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Mix it well, adding enough water. Make this into a paste consistency and we will keep it aside. In the meantime, I have also soaked 6 small pieces of kokum or kodampuli with water and kept to be used for this cooking later. I am going to use a clay pot for this cooking process because clay pot enhances the taste of fish. So I have added now one and a half tablespoon of coconut oil. It's hot now. We will be adding one fourth teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. One seed splatter. Adding one inch chopped ginger. Five numbers of chopped garlic. And few curry leaves. I can get a good aroma while this is being fried in the oil. This should turn to light golden brown. Now we will add 6 numbers of sliced shallots. Saute and when it's transparent, turn heat to medium. Now we will add masala paste which was kept aside. Saute on low fire till raw smell of the masala is gone. See now you can see the oil separates from sides. So now it is done, you can see. Now we will add soaked six small pieces of kokum or kodampli with its water that has been soaked with. Also add enough water to cover all fish pieces. Add salt and bring the curry to boil. Now we will add fish pieces which are cut and cleaned. Here I have taken 1 kg of shark fish pieces. Cover and cook on medium heat. Once the fish is cooked, reduce the fire to lower flame and cook until the gravy is thickened. Please don't stir up after the fish is cooked otherwise pieces tend to break. We will just swirl the pan like this. Again, cooking time varies depending upon types of fish that you use. Apparently, this fish took about 8 minutes to cook. Now the curry is almost done. Finally. Turn off the flame and we will add few curry leaves, sprinkle half tablespoon of coconut oil and keep the curry covered. This will give nice aroma and taste to the fish curry. Curry tastes better if you could keep it for a day to set in flavor. This curry can be served with boiled rice or mashed or boiled tapioca and enjoy. 